hello everyone in this video we'll be discussing we'll be discussing the previous year the previous years mcqs that have been asked in multiple aims pgi or neat entrance examination myself dr aditya gupta i did my mbbs from aims delhi and i recently completed my md in pediatrics from aims delhi and i'll be joining uh, the dm in pediatric oncology from aims delhi so let's discuss the previous year mcqs the first question that i was asked recently in neat 2016 and 17 so it has a higher probability of being asked again because it has been repeated is the markers for the classical hodgkin lymphoma are the first option given to us was cd1530 second was cd15 and 20 third was cd20 and 30 and fourth was cd4 and 8 as i have discussed in my previous video a uh, hodgkin lymphoma can be divided into either classical hodgkin lymphoma and uh nodular lymphocyte predominant hodgkin's lymphoma or the non classical variant of hodgkin's lymphoma the classical variant of hodgkin's lymphoma is characterized by cd15 and 30 positivity while nodular lymphocyte uh, uh predominant hodgkin's lymphoma is cd20 positive but it's negative for cd30 and it's negative for cd15 so if you look uh, if you know this basic uh, knowledge about the immunohisto uh, ihc immunohistochemistry chemistry and the flow cytometry of uh, hodgkin's lymphoma uh, the answer to this question becomes very clear it's the first option cd15 and 30 see how the examiner tries to confuse you it is given cd20 and 30 uh, in the second and the third option basically it's trying to it's trying to examiner is trying to gauge you whether you know that cd20 is cd20 is negative as far as the classical hodgkin lymphoma is concerned uh this fourth option cd4 and 8 it's a distractor as we all know cd4 is present on t helper cells and cd8 is present on t cytotoxic cells now let's discuss the next question now best prognosis among hodgkin lymphoma is like i discussed before in the previous one that hodgkin lymphoma can easily be divided into either classical variant or the nodular lymphocyte predominant hodgkin lymphoma it has been shown and it is uh not known that nodular lymphocyte predominant hodgkin lymphoma has that is a non classical variant of hodgkin lymphoma has a much better prognosis as compared to classical hodgkin lymphoma so the answer here becomes lymphocyte predominant nodular lymphocyte predominant hodgkin lymphoma if suppose this question was which of the following has the worst prognosis this is also you should remember as far as the worst prognosis is concerned lymphocyte depleted has the worst prognosis amongst all hodgkin lymphoma this variant is also associated with hiv all of the following is true for nodular sclerosis except as i discussed in the previous video the nodular sclerosis variant of hodgkin lymphoma is characterized by a uh, collagenous bands uh, which divide the lymph node which is the swollen lymph node that's causing hence the, uh, the lymphoma into nodules hence the name nodular sclerosis that they are nodules which are formed and they are sclerosis because they are collagenous bands which are dividing into and nodular sclerosis is a classical type of hodgkin's lymphoma so if it's classical type of hodgkin's lymphoma it will be cd15 positive it will have collagenous band so these two are not the correct options now plasma cells present or not like i said before in both nodular sclerosis and mixed cellularity the inflammatory infiltrate consists of every type essentially every type of cells so lymphocytes will be there this there will be the riesenberg cells you will have your plasma cells you will have your eosinophils right but cd20 positivity is seen in the non classical hodgkin lymphoma and classical lymphoma uh, hodgkin lymphoma including nodular sclerosis are cd20 negative so the correct answer to this question is cd20 positive all of the following is true except so they are basically asking which of the following is the false statement cd20 positivity no classical hodgkin lymphoma is not cd20 positive next question which of the following is not present in hodgkin lymphoma rs cell lnh cell lacrimal cell langerhans cells so rs cell or the reese steinberg cells they are the characteristic cells and hence essentially they are the malignant cells which drive the malignancy or that is the hodgkin lymphoma now there are certain variants of reese steinberg cells the lnh cells and the lacrimal cells the ls cells like i discussed in my previous video are present in nlphl there the nodular uh, lymphocyte predominant hodgkin lymphoma and the uh, lacrimal cells are present in the nodular sclerosis variant 
so lns cells and lacrimal cells both are types of rns uh, reed seenberg cells and uh, lns cells present in the nlphl this is also called popcorn cell and lacrimal cells are present in the nodular sclerosis variant reed seenberg cells are the characteristic with the owl's eye nucleus Langerhans cells are present in LCH. That is Langerhans cell hysterocytosis. They are not present in Hodgkin's lymphoma. Langerhans cells are also uh, essentially, basically, they are the uh, antigen-presenting cells present below the dermis. So they are not present in case of Hodgkin's lymphoma. So the correct op answer here becomes Langerhans cells. Langerhans cell. The question is, which of the following is not present in Hodgkin's lymphoma? The answer would be Langerhans cells. I hope you liked the video. Please like, share and subscribe to watch further videos, especially of pediatric oncology and uh, hematology oncology and previous year MCQs. Thank you.